Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, it's been a long time since I've posted an update on uh, my healing journey with endometriosis. And uh, when I went to go check my YouTube channel, I realized that it was back in January of 2018, the last time that I actually talked about um, how I'm healing endometriosis. So I figured I'd give you guys an update of where I am since I posted that video. Um, I, I know I posted another video, so several videos, but um, I know I posted a video on the fact that I've done several fasts and how they have helped tremendously with my healing journey. Um, but in terms of really uh, emphasizing how things are going with endometriosis, that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. <coughs> Just a heads up, I am not a doctor. Um, I am not able to diagnose anyone else's condition. The only thing I'm going to do is share with you what has worked for me. So um, since that video, I have still remained um, high raw fruititarian. Um, I am not completely raw. Um, I also do high raw vegetables, but mostly fruits. And, um, and I do cook food sometimes. So even this right here, this is a butternut squash soup that I made. It is so yum, guys. This is really delicious. Um, so, um, real quick, um, since the last video that I did uh, back then, uh, back in tw uh, January 2018, um, a lot of the pain that I was experiencing was starting to diminish tremendously. Um, I also used to have fainting spells prior to that. Um, I don't have that issue anymore. I also um, I used to experience vomiting. And at the time that I made that video, there were months sometimes that I still would experience vomiting symptoms. Um, but I am happy to report that um, this has been my experience for the last, I think, three or four cycles now. No, I think it's been three cycles where I did this experiment um, with sort of like dry fasting. And so um, the day of my menstrual cycle where I experienced the most discomfort and um, would have bouts with vomiting would be day two. It got to the point of being day two of my menstrual cycle. So I did this experiment with not eating, you know. Um, there are times when our body is speaking to us and telling us that we don't need to add anything else in here. I'm trying to do some work. I'm trying to heal you. So let's not add anything extra to this body and let me do my work. So I kind of remembered when I used to share this puppy with my ex and the puppy, whenever she would get her menstrual cycle or whenever she wasn't feeling good, she would actually not eat. And at first we, you know, I used to be kind of concerned like, oh my God, she's not eating. I hope she's going to be all right. And the next day she was fine. She'd be back to normal eating her food or what have you. She just listened to her body without anyone telling her and she would just take a break from eating. And, you know, compared to human, though, she, her menstrual cycles at that time was kind of light. I used to feed her um, nice, healthy vegetables sometimes, even though we did give her puppy food and stuff like that from time to time. Had it been my dog, though, I think I would have just stri strictly raised her vegan. But that's another story. Um, so um, nonetheless, I decided to do that very experiment on myself and just not eat and see what happens with my body. And what ended up happening was I did not have any experience with vomiting. So um, with this cycle... I decided to go even further and I decided to go on a solid food vacation. <clears throat> and so the first week that I did the solid food vacation, I strictly stuck to juicing and drinking herbal teas and water. And I didn't drink an exuberant amount of water and I did not drink an exuberant amount of juices because I frequently intermittent fast, which is just, you know, I have this long window between I would say about six 
to 7 p.m. Um, and then about 11 a.m., 12 p.m., the next day before I eat. So my body is used to not like constantly consuming food. So this go around, it was very easy for me to, uh, to ju juice feast without like consuming a lot of juice. I didn't need to do that because my body is just used to not putting a lot of stuff in there, um, which is giving my body the opportunity to do healing because I'm not stuffing my, you know, face constantly with food. Um, and so, um, that first week, this is, so I had gone, I think I was like right before ovulation or getting ready to go into ovulation. And I did that experiment. I did, um, seven days of juice feasting. And then I did another seven day window, which I was now already into ovulation, um, where I decided to add some nice warming, um, soups that I would actually puree or broth and also continue with my juice feasting. And I would just have this like a lunch or a dinner. And then the rest of the time was juicing and water and herbal teas. And I still have, I have absolutely no cramps guys. I have absolutely no vomiting. And I'm very, very excited to report this. Now, I realized that every woman's bout with endometriosis from what I have, you know, sort of been paying attention to is this just everybody's different. So we all have to listen to our bodies and figure out what works for us. And that's what you tune into. Now, what I will also say in terms of my healing journey is that it just wasn't about diet. I, you know, I'm the type of person I'm constantly digging for ways to help myself. So I, you know, have um, really gotten into um, breath work. So I'm, you know, working on breathing properly. So I do breathing meditation. I also um, go to sound journeys and, and give myself a sound bath, which is where you take um, a singing sound bowl. I actually invested in that. I invest in my health. I don't invest in a lot of clothing and cars and, you know, all of this stuff that has no intrinsic value to me. I don't invest in that. I invest in my overall health and well-being, even if that means taking, spending money, taking a vacation somewhere to connect with nature. That's where my money goes. Um, it doesn't go on things that die away and have no value. Um, because I don't want my life story to be written that she wore the nicest clothes or she, her hair was on fleek or anything like that. I want um, people to share that I was able to raise the vibrations of humanity, that I was able to assist someone else with their healing journey so that we all can um, uplift to a higher state of consciousness and awareness. So that's what I would rather my life story to be written as. So that's where I spend my money. But anyway, um, I digress. The point is, is that, um, you know, I, I do that. I, I go, you know, I live in a cold environment. I live in Chicago and, and, and it's very cold here um, during the winter time. So I like to get away and go to the tropics. I just feel that in my past life or something, I was from the tropics and I just love being in nice, warm weather. So uh, and I think that that's been a good part of my healing journey. So it's like if I can't live in the tropics right now, what I'm doing is eating high vibrational fruits. And that is like electric. It's it's um, it's electric and alkaline because it's not cooked. It has not been denatured. So therefore, it's almost as close as me being out in nature. So um, I found that that has really, really helped me tremendously with my healing journey. This soup here is actually a fruit-based soup, even though, you know, what we've been taught is that squashes and things of that nature is some kind of vegetable. This is actually a fruit. Um, because it's seeded. So most, most, um, um, you know, vegetables or whatever you call it, it's like a veggie fruit. If it's got seeds in it, it's odds are it's a fruit. So the butternut squash is actually a fruit and I just kind of garnished it with, um, with some, um, uh, scallions. And I also have a, you know, I had some leftover, um, avocado from how I made this into a bisque. Um, along with some hemp seed milk. And so, yeah, that's what I'm having. And because I've been doing these soups, 
uh, pureed soups. This is giving my body a break from digesting. So it's giving my body the opportunity to heal. So I just wanted to give you guys an update of where I'm at in this journey. And I'm very, very pleased with where I'm at. If this video resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Also catch me on Instagram if you care. My Instagram is firesignsag1111. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.